Jordan McCready in the number 28, ready to go. It's the biggest race of the year for modifieds in general. And, you know, we just try to end our year on a good note. You know, me personally, it's, it's, uh, it's the last race we go to other than Brockville Fall Nationals. So, you know, we give it our best shot and uh, sort of tries, try to build on what you did throughout the year and, and show up at Dirt Week and put on a decent show for everybody that supported you all year is the main deal. And, trying to have some fun, but it, it's the most stressful race of the year too. So, you know, you gotta take uh, one one good with the bad with that, you know, high high risk, high reward, good payout. And uh, yeah, just try to put a good show on is the main deal. It's a good mix. It feels like with, like how Syracuse used to feel, you know, high speeds and, and way more, uh, you know, prep for the cars and all that stuff. You still get a little bit of that but it's, it's still a, a, almost like a Saturday night layout uh, speed-wise. So your cars aren't, for the most part, if it's slicked off and smooth, it's, it's good racing, and it's not you know 150 miles an hour hoping that bulls don't break and stuff like that. So you can, you can race harder on the track that way, and it usually puts a good show on. You gotta race it a little differently, and uh, most of it is prep, you know, you gotta, come prepared with you know a lot more equipment a lot more tires and and your, your crew has to be a little bit more involved where you know a 75 lapper one guy could do a lot of the work show up and race it uh, it takes a lot more people to even get there for dirt week especially if you race more than one car if you go to the satellite shows and all that stuff so there's just a lot of overhead that you have to look after before you get there yeah I mean looking forward to it and like I said it's it's the, uh, the end of the year race that everybody sort of looks forward to and you know, hopefully we can, we can go good at it.